So you're sitting at home on your comfy couch with your laptop, checking out homes. How would pets influence where and what you buy? And as a dog owner, never had more than four in the house at one time, but there's a couple things you're gonna pay attention to, right? Because honestly, it influences more about the yard and what my dog needs than probably what I need in a house. So we're looking for safety reasons to have a fenced yard. I know I keep leashes in my car. I pick up lost dogs all the time. And if you had your yard fenced, that helps keep them in. Remember, always have your collars with your dog tag on your dog so I can get them home to you quicker and easier. And then a lot of people consider a doggy door, right? So like for me, I don't use a doggy door, but a doggy door could be really important. Where would you put it? Does it lead to the backyard? And then of course, the pool safety. I always suggest if there's a pool, you get a safety fence for not only dogs, I know I'm weird, I think of that first, but for kiddos too, right? And then is there room for a dog run with grass so they can get some exercise and not be pent up in the house? And then the big question, because in the end, I am Sandy Creston and I do mortgages. How would that purchase price range affect your mortgage payment? So all things mortgage questions, remember we're here to help. I am Sandy Creston. We are the Creston team powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage. Any loan questions, give us a call. Our team hotline is 480-420-7107.